Welcome to this video tutorial on making your own copper pipe duduk uh, using a poly pipe reed. And we're going to concentrate on the reed in this video because it's a little bit trickier to make. The copper pipe duduk itself is quite simple as you can see in the diagram. All the measurements are there and this diagram will appear again at the end of the video. So uh, the duduk itself you can quite easily make, we won't cover here. We're going to start with the reed. So here's some poly pipe, it's polyethylene pipe. Very common in Australia. Uh, we use it for uh, domestic irrigation pipe and so we can get it very easily. Um, hopefully you can find it in whichever country you're in. And so we're going to start by flattening that pipe. So the pipe is quite thin walled, only about a millimetre thick wall. So 15 millimetre outside diameter, 13 millimetre inside diameter. And the job now is to flatten that pipe and to create the reed shape. So with the hammer, and the anvil we're working along the sides of the tube and on the tip and that tip there we are we're getting a sound already that tip will be about 24 25 millimeters wide at the end uh, but the important thing is just to very steadily and carefully uh, work on thinning that wall so we're we're broadening it so it becomes the reed shape similar in style and type to the traditional Armenian duduk. Okay, gradually getting a little bit easier to play. Here we go. You'll find the, that the, the reed wants to spring back into its tubular shape um, when uh, you've finished actually, uh, and you want to always store it with a bulldog clip holding the blades together. Getting there, a bit more work on the tip. Okay, let's actually start now working with some sandpaper. I'm going to use 80 grit sandpaper, quite a coarse sandpaper to start off with. And just like with a hammer, we're using it to thin the actual blades of the reed, make the, the wall thickness thinner. And we're doing that in an even way, but we work a little bit more on the tip and also down the edges of the blades. I'm using some very sharp scissors now just to trim the edge and slightly curved edge at the top and just a very slightly trimming just the corners there and you'll find that that now blows a bit freer. Yep, there it is. Uh, because there tends to be a roughness when we're working initially with, with the hammer. I'm cutting it to length now at 70 millimeters just with a pair of circuiters. Okay, still needs a little bit of work, so we're just using it on that coarse sandpaper still. A little bit more. As I mentioned before, at the end of this video, you'll have all the measurements for making the, the copper pipe duduk and also the measurements for the reed itself. So let's check out the sound. So a little bit flat, let's have a listen to this A with a six finger note. Yes, you can hear how it's a little bit flat, a little bit low, and the, particularly the top notes there. So we need to work on a little bit more. But let, let's use the 180 grit uh, paper now. And um, eventually you can go right down to 240 or even 400 grit, but initially you'll need a much coarser paper, otherwise it will take ages. I'm speeding through it in this video, only spending about four minutes on, on making the read. It, will, um, it would normally take me much longer to make a read that I'm happy with. But very important, as I said before, um, when you then store the reed, you'll need to use a bulldog clip to hold the blades of the reed together, or maybe even put it in a vise uh, quite firmly to hold it together. Okay, well, let's check it out now. Hopefully we're up at that A, the six finger A. Let's see, here we go. Mm -hmm. 